Um, hi, my name is Mike, and I want to start creating YouTube videos bi-weekly, which is every other week. Um, so, without ado, I think that's the saying, let's get into the first video that I am making now, and made, I think. I had three hours in between a split shift, where I work at the beginning of the day, and I work at the end of the day. So in this three hours, I could have just sat at home, watched TV, played video games, or even thought about what I wanted to do to make my first video on this channel. But on this particular day, it was 70 degrees outside, in the middle of winter, in Colorado. Needless to say, that is rare. So instead of just sitting inside, I decided to take advantage of this weather and uh, go for a little hike while also spontaneously creating my first video, the three hour challenge. So I grabbed my camera, walked out of my house, got into my car, where I decided to put my camera on the dash, where I thought it would be cool to uh, record my drive up to the trailhead where I was going to begin my adventure. You can say this was a bit janky. This might be a good time to explain the premise behind this video. It's that you have time to do something now, but life is fast and it will pass you if you don't take advantage of it. So even if it's three hours like I had or 30 minutes, you can and should do something fun, learn something new, and go on an adventure. So my plan was to go up to Chautauqua Park and just kind of walk around in this area. Enter Earthman. Earthman has a message for us. Make your job green, carbon offset, and don't burn hardly any gasoline. And uh, anyway, then we'll have a groovier time. And, and that saves my life and one of your best friend's lives too. What I think Earthman was trying to say, besides the obvious point that we do just need to take care of the planet, is that we shouldn't take our time, our life, and this earth for granted. We need to take care of it so we can really enjoy its majestic beauty. I mean, or not. Nonetheless, my travels continue. And the walk up to the Flatirons was actually pretty neat with the sun just setting right behind it. Even though it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's what happens in the winter. And then, my first obstacle. I went left. Yeah, one of the benefits of living so close to these mountains and being on these trails all the time is that you just know where you're going. So I went left. Again. I only had a small window of time here, and so when I checked my phone to see what time it was, and I wasn't sure how far away the destination that I decided I wanted to go to was, I, uh, I took a path that I usually would have just went right by. This is the climbing access area to climb up the flat irons. I've always dismissed this as just like a dead end, um, but because of the time crunch, I went up there this time. At first it was a bit snowy and there was a sweet view of my car. Oh, where you came from? Over there. There's a car. Um, but I went up a little bit further and saw a rock that I could like climb up on top of that was kind of a pain to get to. Um, but it had a really cool view of the front range. Well, we're up here now, and uh, well, what time is it? Huh. But 
But with my next shift slowly creeping in, I decided it was time to head back down, get something to eat, and then head home. Where I then came across a very cute puppy. <laughs> oh, did you so puppy? But then I got into my car, went to Noodles and Company, bloop, and uh, headed home where I couldn't seem to get into my house. Then when I located the proper key, I was able to get in, and then get home. <laughs> As I said before, this video is about your ability to do cool things in the time that you have. Whether you have 3 hours like I did, or even just 30 minutes, you can still do something. And you might not be as lucky as I am to live in a city so close to adventure. Whether you live in a suburb, or in the middle of nowhere, or in a place where outside isn't too safe. You still have time, and you can still do something fun, you can learn something new, learn an instrument. You know, you can do anything that is worthwhile to you. So to end my first of hopefully many bi-weekly videos, I will leave you with a quote and a goodbye. I will see you next time.